In the world of GTA Online, businesses are a crucial and very relevant part of the game. However, even with a wide breadth of tutorials, they can be confusing for many newcomers. So follow me as I lead you through the basics and the advanced of collecting money via these businesses in GTA Online. Welcome to the Business Guides. The third business we'll discuss is that of the Bunker. Now there are several locations, each varying in price. However, my personal recommendation would be the Chumash Bunker, located here. It is located close to Los Santos, making it convenient, and that location also increases its profits, but we'll discuss that more later. Now each of these bunkers can come with a wide variety of customizations, however perhaps the most useful to you is the shooting range, as completing the challenges within it will unlock more grenade slots as well as free grenade pickups within the bunker itself. An additional thing to be aware of, to start the bunker business you have to be able to register as a CEO, so purchasing the office beforehand is essential. To access the bunker business, come to the laptop to the right of the main entrance. This laptop serves as the focal point of the bunker, allowing you to see your total earnings, total sales, as well as your stock and research levels. Additionally, you can see your supply level. Now when getting supplies, make sure you always purchase them. The amount of time you save will make you more money in the end than if you were to steal supplies. Additionally, purchasing supplies gives you the perfect amount of product for one sale vehicle, which is essential for solo players. This page also allows you to see your research, showing you the unlocked or locked ones you have. These include vehicle upgrades, or better yet, weapon upgrades. Some of the most useful of these include incendiary rounds, which can be put on the heavy revolver Mark II for extreme effectiveness, even against vehicles. This page also allows you to fast-track research, effectively expediting the incredibly long time it takes to research many of these upgrades. So you can divide your bunker staff in two ways, either all into producing weapons, all into producing research, or a combination of both. However, research takes upwards of 5 hours for every single upgrade, so it is more worth it to put it into manufacturing and then use the money made there which is far quicker, to fast-track the research. More than that, on this page you can also see the upgrades for the bunker. The equipment and staff are essential to making more money. The security upgrade is less so. When performing sales, always make sure to sell to Los Santos, as this will make you the most money. This is why the Chumash bunker is such a perfect location. The bunker is considered a passive business, meaning it operates in the background. You restock it and then it produces the product while you do other things in-game, and you have to be online for your bunker to produce. So take that time to perform the heist, or some of the vehicle warehouse sale missions. Or better yet, just mess around and do whatever you find fun. The point of having a mission that produces in the background is that you don't have to attend to it. Nevertheless, when it comes to the actual sale missions themselves, there are a few things to be aware of. The first is the singular drawback of the bunker. The fact that all sales have to be performed in public lobbies. This means that you're at the behest of all rival players who could decide to just end your run immediately. However, there is a slight benefit to players. This is referred to as the on-demand bonus. Effectively, you get paid extra depending on how many players are in your session with you. You could call it risk pay if you like. But whether that's worth it is entirely up to you. A final thing to note is that in many of these sale missions, you will be attacked as I am here. This is where those upgraded weapons and research come in handy, especially the heavy revolver. As shown here, shooting the back tail rotor of any helicopter will bring it to the ground. Congratulations on making it this far, you now know what is the easiest and probably one of the best businesses within the game. This is the part where I tell you that the biker was the wrong choice. Bunker is infinitely better, makes you more money, and has almost no risks. 
As a bonus, the bunker is also improved by the nightclub. And now to see what you can do with all your hard-earned illicit money. First, address your attention to the Warstock website, and specifically purchase the MOC, or Mobile Operations Center. This will allow you to start a variety of mobile operations missions. These missions allow you to unlock the trade price for a number of vehicles, including the Mark I Oppressor. Previously, I stated that you always want to buy supplies. However, to start these missions, you have to steal the number listed above each of them. So for the Oppressor mission, you have to steal 14. It may not be the most efficient for making money. However, if these vehicles stand out to you, then it is worth it. The MOC can also be outfitted with a command center, allowing you to operate turrets to protect the MOC when it's not stored in the bunker. But perhaps more importantly is the Weapon and Vehicle Workshop. This gives you two tools within the MOC itself. The first of these tools is the Weapon Upgrade Table, accessed within the MOC. This allows you to purchase any number of weapons, as well as upgrade them to their Mark II variants. These Mark II variants are the only weapons capable of receiving the upgrades you researched within the bunker itself. Some upgrades I would personally recommend both for their fun and effectiveness. The revolver shown here with incendiary rounds, additionally the heavy sniper Mark II given explosive rounds, and the pump shotgun Mark II also given explosive rounds. The second of these MOC upgrades is the Vehicle Workshop. This allows you to customize any number of weaponized vehicles. This can be adding weapons to them, or simple things as changing the color of the car. Using this, you can also turn many vehicles into personal vehicles, meaning that you can summon them from the interaction menu. Some of these vehicles, such as the Insurgent Pickup Custom, are otherwise unobtainable in-game. Congratulations! Now you have access to a wide variety of arms and vehicles outfitted with the finest research you have at your disposal. Your connections to the military contracting scene are impressive, but now you have the opportunity of a lifetime. Do you choose to look ahead, or do you choose to look back? Either the hangar or the biker, the choice is yours. Nevertheless, until next time, be economic, be wild.